North Korea resumed sending trash carrying balloons to South Korea Monday, just three days after the regime's leader sister Kim Yo Jong warned about doing so. Our North Korean first correspondent Kim Jong Se reports. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced Monday night that North Korea had resumed the sending balloons, which likely carried trash. The military said the balloons headed southeast from the northern regions of Gyeonggi-do province. Seoul City sent a safety alert text at around 10 p.m. that the balloons had entered the skies over Seoul. North Korea already sent trash-carrying balloons on four occasions between May 28th and June 10th. South Korea's Ministry of Unification provided some information about the balloons sent previously. The majority of the trash was cut off waste paper, plastic and clothing scraps that seemed to have been put together for the purpose of sending, rather than regular household trash. There were also parasites found in the soil included in the trash. The ministry added that the parasites may have come from human waste, while adding that there was no risk of contamination or infection. While most were carrying planned trash made for balloons, the ministry said there was also trash that may indicate the poor economic condition in the north, such as old, worn-out socks, gloves, and T-shirts. Monday's balloon launch is believed to be in retaliation for the 300,000 leaflets sent by a North Korean defector organization last Thursday. Fighters for a Free North Korea, a civic group, sent dollar bills, leaflets and USBs carrying South Korean dramas and songs. Meanwhile, the International Civil Aviation Organization, a specialized United Nations agency, expressed deep concern over the regime's jamming of GPS signals that affected hundreds of airplanes last month. The agency decided to notify the North to comply with relevant conventions. This is the first time that the ICAO has named North Korea as the perpetrator of such conduct. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.